Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Hope on Facebook. Here's the paper that I'm going to be using. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing some of the paper whimsies um, stuff. It's a, it's a monthly, $5 a month um, fee, but then you get all kinds of really cool stuff that you can print out. And this cardstock is super heavy. Um, I really like the weight of it. Um, I got this at Walmart for $5.87. Um, and I went over to what's that place called I think Staples and they had pretty much the exact same thing only a different packaging one of these was $22 so um, doesn't matter if you get it at Walmart and only pay $5.87 um, it's the same stuff so this is what we'll be using and we'll get ready to start the actual project okay so I have sure cuts a lot up here um, and I you can probably get away with using canvas, um, but within SureCuts a lot, you get to do everything, the entire, from printing, layout, everything, you get to do all the full design inside one program. So I don't need um, a printing program and then move over to um, canvas. I do it all right from here and then send it to my machine from here as well. So that's why I'm going to be using this. It's just a lot easier to do. Okay, so let's go find something. And this is going to be a printable, so what I need to do is I need to click Place Image. And you find that on your Files tab. And then the Documents. Let me find my scrap chick. And Paper Whimsies. Okay, so in here we have all kinds of different um, folders, different things we can do. So let's see, what do we want to do? Oops, as I'm going through here, you'll see there's little tags, papers, and the papers, I mean, there's all kinds of different papers in here that come with your set. Um, so I know the camera doesn't look good on the computer, but it's easier than doing two different videos. So you kind of have every little thing. She's got tags and little like buttons, um, flares, just so many different things. So let's come up here and let's click this one and I'll show you. See, look at all that stuff. It's just adorable. And you print it out and then our scan and cut, I'll show you how to use that with this. And for me, this is probably what I'm going to end up doing on my own time, not in the video here, but this is the planner, and we got this with our one, um, with February's kit. I think it was February, don't quote me on that. Um, but if you head over to paperwhimsies.net, you will find all of this stuff there, and then you can join up, and it's $5 a month, and you get all of this stuff, so it's really, really cool. All right, so I'm going to find something for us to make, and I'll be back. Okay, so I brought up the Hello card. Okay, so this is the first page. <clears throat> I'm going to come in, and I'm going to make a second page and a third page, because I might need three pages, but I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, and again, it's Place Image. And when you get these in here, <clears throat> let me bring this up. <clears throat> Because this is that's kind of our instruction manual right there. This little card. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and that's how it goes together. We're going to drag it off to the side for right now. Okay, so this is how I do things when I need, or if you need, um, some like instructions to see how it's all put together. Drag those in by place image and set them off the side of your mat. Okay. Okay, so let's go to page two. Come back up to File, Place Image, and I'm going to get ugh, the second part of it. And as you see, sometimes it takes forever to come in. Okay, let me focus that in for you a little better. Okay, so here's my second one, and I do not change any sizes with this. I just leave it as it is, okay? So let's come to page three. File, place image, and grab this third piece. Okay. 
and of course it takes forever. All right. Okay. Excuse me. So this will be the top page, the back page, and the front little extras that you're going to add to make it look 3D. Okay. Because on here, it's all printed already put together for us, but if you want to put a little bit of pop in it, you use the pop dots and pull that other layer off of it, okay? So remember, these are not going to be cut. Let me back this up here. Oops, knock the camera over. Come up here to preview. You click on preview. Well, I have show printable checked. So let's come up here and click the cut lines. There are no cut lines. So it's a printable file only, which is just fine because that's exactly what I need. Okay, so let's go back to page one. I'm going to now delete this because if I don't, it's going to affect how things turn out and I don't want that. Okay, let's go file all the way down here to print. Now, if you haven't set up your printer yet, you'll want to do that right here where it says print setup. Okay. I have mine already attached, or actually it's Wi-Fi. Come up here to the properties. It's not plain paper. And I'll just put Matt greeting card. That's usually what it is. I come in here to advance too, and I always take it off print with border. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to send each one of these pages to my printer. File, print, okay, and page three, file, print, okay. All right, so now I'm going to get ready, pull it out of the printer, and take it to the scan and cut. Okay, I wanted to show you something. I decided to also print off some little, <clears throat> some of the little tags that are also available in the Hello um, kit. But I noticed in here that I have a feeling a lot of them, when we do our scan to cut, may not cut appropriately. Okay, the scanner may not read it quite right for just the outlines. Okay, and if you try to just do a shadow effect, it's not going to work because these are a place image, so it's not going to pick up anything. So what I did is I went and I traced in, so I'll click on the trace button up there, went in and traced um, the actual design set. So what I'm doing right now is I am placing these right where they need to go over this, okay? I don't have that one, so I'm going to delete it. I have this one. Come on, little guy. This one. So then I just come up to Object, Duplicate, make two of them, and then go place them over their uh, corresponding shapes. And if you need to, you can just use your little nudge to bump it. <clears throat> I'm going to zoom in on this and um, Make sure that they're all okay. I don't have this one. Don't have this one. I don't think. Nope. Don't have that one. It's this one. So I want to duplicate that one. But this is how you go about doing this. Because <clears throat> if you ever have an item that is not showing up when you scan it and it's just giving you a fit but you really want it, Take a picture of it, even just a standard picture with a camera, bring it into Sure Cuts a lot, and you can do it by doing exactly what I'm doing here, okay? Um, because you just want, oops, let me duplicate it. You just want to get like the shadow background of it. You want to get the silhouette of it um, so that you can use it to make a cut file. If it's not tracing or if it's not scanning in appropriately, this is what you want to do, is exactly what I'm doing here. And, oops, what am I doing? So this is how you go about doing it. I'll do a couple here for you. 
just go ahead and do these and then lay it here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the visual parts since I already have that saved to my stick or exported to my stick you see that's not working I'm going to go ahead put that file to sleep with the eye and then I will save this whole file oh, there we go and delete that other one got one more to go so it may look like it's a little bit of work but hey you know what I'd much rather do this than have to sit there and hand cut everything which I hear a lot of people say is oh it wouldn't skin in so I had to hand cut it no if you have sure cuts a lot you can do it this way if you don't if you have canvas you're right you are kind of stuck um, yet another good thing for the scan and cut or for yeah for our scan and cutters that use this okay so now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put everything to sleep and then we'll head over to the machine okay so here's my cutouts back this up for you or my printouts I should say soon to be cutouts I did make a cut file for this one or I should say it's actually already in the set um, it will cut out the whole thing for you this one I don't have a file for because that's just straight cutting okay so just put it on your paper cutter and straight cut it same with this one just straight cuts but here's my little thing that I just made a cut file for using all of the silhouette shadow whatever you want to call it um, that I just did alright so let's put these on a mat and head on over okay <clears throat> so here we are over at the machine and I'm going to pull in my little tag cutout file okay Oops, why do I always do that okay that's just how I want them let's do this background scan so now we're scanning the background scanning the paper that is in there and I want those um, individual pieces separate I do not want them joined or group at this point okay so let's just keep watching here let's head into this um, field then to the four arrows okay so it looks like everything needs to be grouped just so that I can move it this way okay okay so this is where I start to blow them up and move them around if you forgot to do this in your program let's say you forgot to do it in sure cuts a lot or you did it but you don't think they're matching up very well just come in here and do exactly what I'm showing you alright so I'm gonna take a little bit and work on getting these just where I want them and then we'll be back okay so now I think I pretty much have them all oops going the wrong way yep so they're all lined up as good as I can tell by my eyes okay so we're gonna click through here we're gonna get to our cut screen and I did readjust my cut head because in the video I did with the felt which was just done before this it was missing some uh, parts and with this being what is a hundred and ten pound cardstock I'm actually gonna take this up to like a three and a half okay cut now let's let her go so all those are gonna be cut all right and I'll come back when they're done okay let's have us a little look-see here and see how my cutter did oh it looks like it's still catching in some spots so I'm gonna run her through again because I don't want to have to rip those off 
looks like it's cutting good on that side but not this side which means I need to go up just a tag in blade depth all right okay we're done and it looks like it's better yep perfect all right so I know because my blade is getting quite old I've had this one for quite a long time so it's actually went from a it is gosh darn it it went from a two and a half all the way to like three and three quarters 3.75 because I used to use two and a half on this card stock around Christmas time so it's increased that much but it still cuts it really well as you can see look how dirty my mat is Ew. Um, cuts it perfectly there's no little boogers or anything and I'm gonna show you I've heard a lot of people or read a lot of people say they can't get things off their mat and I tell you to roll your mat this is what I mean roll it like this Flick them off if you can flick them off. If you can't and they're still really, really stuck down, roll them, take your scraper, your firm scraper, and just go under them and start flicking them off. Oops, I just flicked them halfway across the room. Yep, here's one that's pretty good and stuck. But this is what a mat roll is. It's not a permanent bend. You're not creasing your mat. Just a gentle roll. Stick that up there. Alright, so now we have everything because I've already cut that out too. So all we need to do is take our paper trimmer. Oops. Get all this crappy old out of the way. And then with the straight cuts, instead of monkeying around with the machine, just come in here and do your straight cuts. Just make sure it's straight there. Okay, sorry, I know my arm's in the way right now, but I'm trying to make this even. There we go. And the last cut. So this would be a really quick and simple card to make up, and it's super cute. I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of the stuff, and I will be back. Okay, so I ended up getting ready to make two cards out of this okay this one will have the pop dots and it'll stack them up and you can add the little things in and then this one I kept the flowers and the hello off of it and I'm just gonna kinda do my own thing on here I just have a bunch of the little things kinda thrown on here to see what I want but that's how you use um, the paper whimsies files uh, they're really neat really easy to use and just really really cute um, so you can make up all kinds of different cards tags packages um, scrapbook pages whatever you want you can make up with these and once again that's over at paperwhimsies.net thanks guys if you have any questions find me over at scan and cut canvas and scale help on facebook